forward. So thank you guys for jumping on tonight and um, joining us is the very special Alexa to guest speak on our team Zoom. Like you guys have noticed, um, except for everyone that's brand new, that we have combined our Emerald and Above and our um, normal Zooms for the month of October. And um, I'm really liking doing it because I think the information is helping everybody, no matter where you are at in your journey of being a Beachbody coach. So that's why I've done this and going, oh my gosh, I just looked and that's not Jen, that's a daughter. <laughs> I was confused. Um, and you guys, you know that um, we have been really focusing on leadership and stuff too. So Josh Coates is actually guest speaking next week, but this week we have the fabulous Alexa Luckenbach. Did I, did I get that right, Alexa? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Alexa has been coaching for two years as of October. She is a four-star diamond coach. She is ranked currently number 23 in the company, guys, that's freaking awesome. There's more than 300,000 beach body coaches, and she is number 23. Holy shit. I mean, stuff. Uh, she is a 2014 premier coach, Success Club 10 All Star, star, star whoa, a uh, $1,000 beach body winner, and she's down uh, 80 pounds just from beach body alone. So way to go, girlfriend. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So I am, they, they know the tidbits. We're going to talk about Success Club, but Alexa's, Alexa is really going to break it down for us and um, all the tidbits that go along with it. So Alexa, I'm going to let you take it away, dear. Okay, awesome. Well, first off, thanks, Vicki, for letting me speak to you guys. I love being able to talk with other teams. As much as I love my team, it's always fun to see new faces and talk to new people. Um, but, but I just wanted to start off by just briefly sharing a little bit about my story, um, in case some of you guys maybe don't follow me on social media. Um, like Vicki said, I uh, signed up to be a coach two years ago. And at that point, I um, had just basically gotten off or had had gotten to the top of a never-ending roller coaster it felt like so um, I was your classic yo-yo dieter I've done every program under the sun before I found Beachbody I mean I did Weight Watchers five billion times I had done Advocare I got a personal trainer I tried counting calories on my apps on my phone I mean you name it and I did it and I even got to the point where I lost 55 pounds one year and gained 53 pounds back the next. So I have very little faith in my ability to lose weight. Um, and so when I came across my coach, um, you know, I was your person who really didn't have much belief in myself um, because obviously I had a track record of failure before in every weight loss attempt that I had tried. So I um, remember chatting with my coach about joining a challenge group, and, and that was around the time that T25 had just come out. So she was sharing with me about T25. I met my coach, let me back up, randomly through a Facebook group. And um, I remember thinking that I really wanted to do it, but like I said, I had little belief in myself. Um, so I told her no. I actually told her no for three months in a row. I, I checked back in with her, and I talked to her again, and I, I was your annoying person that said no three months in a row. So first off, let me just say, never ever give up on people, because you never know when people are going to be ready um, to start their journey, really. Um, so after the, those three months, I remember looking back and you know, realizing that I had gotten absolutely nowhere on my own. Um, I, I kept giving my coach excuses as to why I couldn't join, but really I knew that it just came down to me not being ready and not committing. And I had to get real with myself and knew that if I could just give this program a try, give this challenge group thing a try, this Shakeology stuff a try, um, at least I could say that I, I tried it out, right? So, um, you know, October 2013 was when I first joined my, my first challenge group, and um, I was actually very much against starting a business because, like I said, I did Advocare before, and I had a really negative experience with it. I felt very pushed into sales, and I thought that each body was the exact same. So when my coach approached me about being a coach, she was like, you know, you've been really active in our challenge group. I think you'd be great. And I was like, nah, I'm not going to do this. Like, it's all about sales. I don't like doing that. No way. Um, 
but I decided to sign up for the discount because I wanted my Shakeology cheaper. So um, I, I joined technically as a coach in October 2013, but I say that I always started my journey um, in January of 2014 because that's when I started to realize the potential of this business and what it really had. Um, I started to um, see results from the challenge group. I started to, you know, I, I started to wander over to YouTube and I started to, you know, Google or YouTube beach body coach and see what this was all about. And I remember coming across a video from Amy Silverman um, talking about how she made $10,000 in a month. And that was the first time that that, that was the first time that I really understood and realized the potential that Beachbody had. And I was like, wow, I could start to like actually earn an income and build a business with this. Like this isn't just a sales scam thing. Um, and so that was when I really, really realized the potential and decided that I wanted to go all in. And um, it all started off with you know my my commitment to hitting success club so um january 2014 like i said was the the month that i decided to go all in and i've hit success club ever since going all in with my business and honestly you guys like i share share this with my team but everything starts with success club it's a foundation for your business and i remember they shared this um stat this year at summit um and they said i don't know if you guys knew this or saw this stat or not but they said that the coaches in 2014 that hit success club consistently month every single month earned 23 times more income than the coaches that either were inconsistent with it or didn't hit it at all 23 times i mean that's humongous right that's a huge difference so i just i i really believe so much in in success club and the importance of it and making it a priority um and so i just kind of wanted to go through and share some tips that i help um help my team with and in, in getting started with success club so you know the first thing that i really always always preach is that you have to get organized and what i mean by that is you need to make sure that you have a contact list that you're working from you need to have either like an activity tracker or some sort of daily checklist that you're using and you need to have a power hour or a schedule for yourself. Um, if you're not organized and you're not on track with this, it's going to be really hard for you to find traction in your business, right? You're going to feel like you're all over the place. You don't know what you're doing or you're sending invites here, answering messages here, following up when you can, whatever. And I'm telling you, it's a lot less effective when you do it that way versus if you are scheduling and planning your time and sitting down and working from a list. So if you don't have a contact list, get that, get, get one right now. Um, I make my contact list very, very simple, you guys. Literally, it just has the person's name, um, their, either their email address, or if, they're, um, if, they're, if I'm talking to them through Facebook, I'll put Facebook on there. Um, you know, when I started talking to them, what we're talking about, and then when I'm following up with them. So, you know, I, I make sure that whenever I start talking to somebody about health and fitness or a challenge group, I immediately put them on my contact list so that I know that I can follow up with them easily. And you guys, I'm able to sit down and like follow up with people so quickly every day because I work from my list. Janelle Summers, I remember this um, video that I watched when I was a brand new coach, but I remember Janelle Summers saying that you have to work from a list if you want to be successful in this business. So um, get organized, make sure you have your contact list um, and make sure you're scheduling your time. Um, that is actually something that I will admit I, I didn't do a very good job of for the first like year and a half of my business. Um, and I'm still struggling with it now, but getting into a schedule and making sure that you're blocking off time specifically for your business is so incredibly important. Um, because like I said, you're just going to feel like you're willy nilly all over the place. If you, um, if you don't have a specific set time, so determine when that's going to be, it, whether that has to be broken up into chunks, little chunks throughout the day, or whether, um, you, your only time is when you put your kids to bed at night and you have to, you know, you only have an hour or two at night, or if you have to get up at 5 AM and, or, whatever. If you have to get up early, um, whatever it is, figure out the time that you are going to schedule for your business. Because I'm telling you right now that um, if you treat your business like a business, it will reward you like a business. But if you treat it like a hobby, it will reward you like a hobby. So obviously when you go to your job, right, your regular nine to five job, you have hours that you work. You have to clock in and clock out. What if you took that same, um, what's the word, uh, being, what if you were so serious about your business, like you are with your 
with your job is what I'm trying to say. Um, think of it as a, a job. And literally, like when you are sitting down for your power hour, you are sitting down for your power hour and you're working on your business. Um, honestly, like getting organized is like the first thing that's just going to help you because you're going to be able to go bust out so much more, um, get so much more done in less time. And so I always tell my coaches, first thing, before we even go into talking about how to invite and talk to and converse with people, I'm like, we got to get organized with this stuff. So if you're not already, make sure that you have those things. Okay. So the second thing is you've got to start getting out of your comfort zone. Obviously we all, we always talk about this, right? Like, you know, as, as coaches, um, you know, you're going to have to do some things that are going to sometimes feel a little weird out of your comfort zone, uncomfortable, whatever. Um, but I'm telling you right now that if you're wanting to make this business something serious, if you're wanting to help three people every single month, getting out of your comfort zone just needs to be part of your daily routine. You just got to do it. Um, and what I mean is, you know, whether that's joining a Facebook group and starting conversations with strangers or um, starting a blog or starting conversations with people on Instagram or posting a vulnerable thing about yourself on your social media. You have to embrace the fact that you're going to do a lot of scary things in this business and just know that I, I, the more that you do those things and the more that you get out of your comfort zone, the easier that they'll be. I actually did, um, did a post in my team page today about how I shared um, uh, shared a, a picture today that popped up on my timeline about how I got my college degree in the mail exactly five years ago today. And, um, I did a post sharing how I basically don't use that degree anymore and I'm totally okay with it. And it was actually kind of scary and outside of my comfort zone for me to share and talk about that because, um, a big part of my story is that I was your corporate corporate climber. I was, um, you know, gung ho trying to like, uh, you know, work my way up the ladder. Um, I, I graduated from the university of Washington, double major. Like I was just, I thought that I was going to be like a businesswoman, you know? Um, and I completely deviated from that plan. And so for me, I've always felt a little bit of judgment from the closest people in my life because of that. Um, because I spent the first like 22 years of my life talking about how I was going to climb a corporate ladder and be a CEO of some business. Well, now I'm a CEO of my own business. And, um, I, and I, I was sharing with my coaches today that it's, I still have scary things that I'm posting two years into this four star diamond doesn't really matter. You're always going to come across something out of your comfort zone or scary, but I'm telling you that the more that you do it, the easier it is for you to push that fear aside and say, whatever fear, get out of my face, get out of my way. I don't really care. Um, I was scared for about 2.6 seconds. And then I hit that post button because I, I knew that sharing this would speak to somebody that needed to hear it, you know? So just embrace the fact that you're gonna have to get out of your comfort zone and maybe do some things that are a little bit scary, that are, that feel weird, that feel awkward, that you wouldn't normally do. And just know that the more that you do those things, I feel like the better that you'll, you'll end up being in your business because you'll be able to overcome those fears so much easier. Okay. So the next thing, um, lead with your vision. So when it comes to sharing your story and talking, you know, try, trying to help three people every single month, I feel like one of the things that so many of so many coaches struggle with is um, trying or not trying to sound salesy and how to come off authentic. And one of the things that I always share with my coaches is to lead with your vision. And what I mean by that is if you, instead of going out there with the mission of trying to sell three challenge packs, if you go out there with, um, with the mission of upholding your vision, um, you're going to come across 10 times more authentic and so much less salesy. So when I say lead with your vision, I want you guys to maybe sit down tonight and think about what your vision is. What are your goals um, that you're trying to achieve in your business? Um, outside of just helping people, what, what is it that you're striving to work towards? So, you know, my personal vision statement for myself and my team is that I am working to inspire others to live healthy, seek their passion and fire away at their goals. My, my team name is team fire away. So, um, that that's where I got that from. And so every single day I tell my coaches, don't go out there and try and sell three challenge packs, go out there and try your best to inspire others to live healthy, seek their passion and fire away at their goals. If you lead with that vision, I'm telling you, you're going to come across so much more authentic and genuine. So make sure that you're doing that. And if you don't have a vision, if you don't know what your mission statement is or whatever, 
sit down and think about that tonight. Think about what you, what your core, core mission and your core values are and what you're really working, um, working on. Cause I know every single one of you on this call is not a coach because you're trying to make lots of money, right? You're here because you want to help people. You want to change people's lives. So sit down and think about that and write out what your vision is. And if you make it your mission to fulfill your vision every single day, um, that, that feeling of that icky feeling of being a salesperson will go away and it'll be so much easier for you to have conversations and open up with people. Okay. So, um, the next thing when it comes to success club, um, you got to remember that it's partially a numbers game guys. So for me, I always have shared that, you know, I talk to as many people as I need to, um, in order to make my goals happen. So if you feel like you are, um, you know, you're starting your, you know, five conversations a day or you're sending out, you know, two invites a day or whatever it is, whatever your personal goals are for your business. Um, and you're, you're, you're doing your thing and you're going along and you're seeing that you're not getting many results. You guys, that just means you need to talk to more people. Um, that's really what it's about. Start more conversations, make more new friends. Um, you know, join more Facebook groups, find more people to connect with. And I'm telling you, if you make that your goal to just talk to more people and talk to as many people as you can, um, I, I really feel like it's a lot easier for you to hit your goals. You know what I mean? So, so just know that if you're, if you're going along and your, your activity that you're doing right now, isn't creating the results that you want, you know, that means that you need to increase your activity a little bit. And sometimes, you know, I know that's hard because I know we all have busy lives and, and things going on. We have full-time jobs, right? Well, that just brings me back to the first point of why it's so important to make sure that you have a contact list, that you're working from, uh, from, from a list, and that you have a schedule for yourself because it'll be so much easier for you to go through and be able to have more time to talk to more people, make more friends, find more people that you can inspire to get healthy, right? Um, so... Um, and the next thing I kind of want to touch on is how to start sharing so that you can attract people, um, to your challenge groups or to coaching. So I always talk about how you can do this in two ways, both directly and indirectly. So directly sharing is means like those posts where you're like, I'm looking for five people to join my challenge group, blah, blah, blah. You know, those, posts. those direct call to action posts, like an advertisement for your challenge group. Um, you got to make sure that you're doing those consistently throughout, throughout the month. Um, I would say maybe like once a week, maybe, I mean, it kind of just depends, but more way more than directly posting is making sure that you're indirectly talking about your challenge groups, talking about coaching. Um, I feel like that is like the biggest thing that has helped me this year, um, in, in moving my business forward is, figuring out different ways of sharing the coaching opportunity in a way that just shows the lifestyle, right? Um, so what I mean by this is think about, think about the reasons why you love being a coach or why you love your challenge groups. Um, do, do you love the support or, you know, accountability from it or, you know, whatever it is, sit down and write out all the reasons why you love Beachbody, why you love, um, challenge groups, you know, what they've done for you and start talking about those things. You know what I mean? Start to what Melanie Mitro says, breadcrumb it. So share little bits and pieces, um, indirectly. I feel like that is, like I said, one of the things that's really changed my business this year, especially when it comes to recruiting. Um, I, I, I made a big goal this year of pushing to be a top 10 coach and at the very, very beginning of this year. And I can tell you one thing, a huge part of that is recruiting coaches, right? So at the beginning of the year, I was like, man, I need to start, you know, bringing more coaches to my team. I was, I was mostly get, you know, uh, getting coaches for my challenge groups. I was transitioning my challengers into, into coaches, but I knew that I needed to step up. I needed to find more people that I could help bring into this business opportunity. And the, the number one thing by far that helped me do that was sharing about coaching indirectly. So I started talking about how, um, how my team gives me, gives me the support that I need on my journey. I talked about how I, um, love that I can go and get my nails done in the middle of the day. Now that I'm, you know, full time with my business or talk about how my, my check this week covered my entire car payment or something, you know what I mean? And you guys, even if you haven't, you're not a full-time coach yet, or you're brand new, um, that's okay. That's okay. You can still inspire people. Um, 
Think about the reasons why you decided to sign up as a coach. Even if you are brand new and today is the first day you are, you literally got your challenge pack this morning. Okay. Why did you get your challenge pack? Why did you decide to commit to this? Um, you, you did it for a reason, right? You said yes for a reason. So talk about those things and share those things in your, in your posts. Um, and I can tell you right now, I remember Vicki actually shared this on my team call, but the little things, those little successes, the little wins along the way that you can share, um, are, are so much more powerful. I feel like than those big, big, major, like major things that, that sometimes we see on uh, that coaches post, right? Like those, you know, I made $25,000 in a week, um, which is awesome, right? We all love that. But I mean, that's kind of, that takes a long time to build up to that, right? Like sometimes I feel like seeing those posts, it's like a little bit overwhelming and people might be thinking, wow, like that's cool that she can do that. But I don't know if I could I ever do that. But when you talk about how you were able to, um, get your groceries covered this week because you were able to help somebody get started on their health and fitness journey. That's something that people can relate to. So make sure that you're sharing and posting, you know, both directly and indirectly about your challenge groups and about coaching, because I swear that by, by planting those seeds, um, people may not even realize it, but they're going to see you and they're going to start to come back to your page and they're going to want to see more of what it is that you have to talk about. Right. Um, so make sure that that's something that you're doing. Okay. Um, and so the next thing that I, I want to talk with you guys about is follow up. Um, you guys, I, I didn't realize this for the longest time, but I feel like so many coaches are sometimes afraid to follow up because you're afraid of bugging people. Right. Um, but you guys, the fortune is in the follow up big time. And I'll tell you this right now, after being coached for two years, if somebody commits to a challenge pack, the first time that I talk to them, I am shocked, like literally beside myself. I expect to talk to people three, four, five, six times before they say yes to me, for, for them to be ready to join. Um, and I actually embrace that and I expect it. So I feel like the minute that my mind, my mind changed, my mindset changed and I realized that that's just part of the process, um, it, it was so much easier for me to be consistent with following up. And I'm telling you, you guys, you, you have to just get that, that fear of following up out of your head and know that by you reaching out to somebody and continuously, you know, work, you know, reaching out and talking to them and checking in on them and seeing how they're doing and how their progress is, or, you know, were they able to watch that video of the 21 day fix? You'd love for them to get started in your group. Um, they're going to love the fact that you thought about them. You know what I mean? They love the fact that you took the time to reach out and that you didn't forget about them. I don't know how many emails I've gotten um, from people that I followed up with that are like, wait, what? I can't even believe you're, you're emailing me. Like you're checking up on me. That's so great. Thank you so much. They love that you're remembering them and that you're following up and you're checking in on them. I'm telling you guys. So, you know, like I said, get, you got to get over that fear of following up because that is honestly like if you're not following up with people consistently um i can tell you right now like you're missing out on so much business so many people that you could be helping because like i said most people need to chat with you about this more than once like 99 percent of people you know are, need to talk to you multiple times before they commit so just know that, embrace it, embrace that it's part of the process and make sure that it's something that you're being really consistent with. Okay. Um, I actually follow up with people three to four times, um, before I put them on my list and check in with them, you know, in a month. So, you know, at first I was like, eh, am I bugging this person? But you know what? I was like, I'm just trying my hardest to help this person get healthy. Um, they told me that they wanted to lose weight. So you know what? I'm holding up my end and I'm checking in on them and I'm doing my best to help them get started on this journey so they can reach their goal. And the minute that, like I said, leading with that vision and knowing that your goal is not to sell a challenge pack, but to help somebody get healthy. Um, you know, it's really like such a mindset thing. Um, and I feel like Doing consistent personal development will help so much with that. So make sure you're doing that too. It's a battle behavior for a reason. Okay. So, um, you know, the last thing I kind of wanted to touch on you guys is belief in yourself and belief in Beachbody and, you know, these programs and what we have to offer. Again, I'm, I'm finding that that is something that sets so many coaches, so it holds so many coaches back um, because confidence and belief is something that can 100% show through in your messages. If you're not confident, 
people are going to be able to tell. Um, but if you are confident, people are going to be able to tell that too. One thing that I remember, um, you know, when I was sitting there at Summit this year, I don't know how many of you guys went to Summit, but they have this, um, they, were, they were talking about all the, the superstar diamond coaches, and then um, they announced the 15 star diamond two coaches, and then they announced Janelle Summers, the one and only 15 star diamond three coach in the entire company. And she came out and they did the little spiel, blah, blah, blah. And I remember sitting there being like, that's so awesome. I can't wait till I'm up there and I'm a 15 star diamond three. And you know what, you guys, like I know that I'm going to be a 15 star diamond three coach. I have no doubts. The only thing that's holding me back from that, it's time. Um, do you have that sort of belief in yourself? Do you believe 100% in, in what we have to offer in yourself as a coach? Do you believe that you're gonna be a 15 star diamond, diamond three one day? You know what I mean? Um, I know that I am, and I, I own that, and I believe it 100%, 1,000% in my heart, and I believe that that shines through in my messages, in the way that I speak, in my conviction. Um, you could probably tell, like, whenever I talk on team calls, I get so fired up and so, like, passionate about it, and it's because I have so much belief in what we do in Beachbody, in this opportunity, in these programs, in Shakeology. Um, I have so much belief, and I feel like it's hard for people to ignore that because, that's how I speak in my messages. And I can tell you, I remember that the, the first time that I was going to send a message to somebody asking them if they wanted to be a coach, I was scared shitless. Sorry for my swearing, but I was literally so scared. And I remember sending the message to my coach and I was like, how does this sound? Is this okay? And I remember she called me out hard on that. I'm so glad she did. And she said, Alexa, you do not sound confident in yourself at all. She's like, you're using very weak language. She's like, I just, I don't feel like I would, I wouldn't want to join you. I'm glad she called me out on that and said that because I remember being like, whoa, she's so right. I was really nervous and it was totally, I wasn't confident. This is brand, I was like, you know, a coach for a couple months, but, but I was just not confident. I was scared. I wasn't doing personal development, which is probably why I was feeling this way. And so it, and it was coming through in my messages and we don't even realize that I remember I was sitting there and I crafted that freaking message for probably 15 minutes and I thought it was awesome. But you know what? It, no matter what, it doesn't matter how much time you put into a post. If you don't have belief in yourself and belief in this company and what we have to offer, no matter what, it will always shine through. So, so think about that. How much belief do you have? Um, because if you don't believe in yourself and what you do and what we do as coaches, um, just know it's going to be really hard for you to find other people who are going to want to jump on this bandwagon with you. Whereas if you're somebody who is confident, you know what you have to offer and you're just out there trying to inspire people and help as many people as possible. Like I said, I feel like you start to become a magnet of, of people because people see this positive energy, this conviction, this belief, and people get attracted to that. So Think, think of yourself as a 15 star diamond three. If you are, if you, if you believe that you're a 15 star diamond three and you work and you treat your business like that, I swear it will start to, to manifest. Um, yeah, it might take a little while, but you know what? It will happen eventually. And in the grand scheme of things, um, you know, five years is not very long. So, you know, sit, sit and think about all those things. Cause I really think that, that your belief and your confidence really makes a huge difference. Um, but, you know, I, I feel like, you know, when it comes to Success Club, you guys, I mean, these might not be the tips that maybe, like, I can't sit here and be like, you need to send X amount of invites and X amount of follow-ups. You know, I, I really, I, I can't put that number on you guys because all of you guys have different goals. You have different schedules. You, some of you have kids. Some of you don't. So I, I can't speak to everybody and say that there's some blanket secret magic formula to hit Success Club. But I just know that you know, making sure that you're organized and working from a list will help you a ton. Making sure that you are scheduling your time will, will make it so much easier for you to get your invites in, your follow-ups in. Um, embracing the fact you have to get out of your comfort zone, knowing that, um, and not letting your fear hold you back will also push you forward so much in your business. Leading with your vision, that will make such a huge difference in how how you're, you're coming across. You won't feel salesy. And I feel like when you don't feel salesy, when you know that you're leading with, with the mission of wanting to inspire people, um, it, that will 100% shine through. Knowing that it's a numbers game. Be real with yourself. This is why it's so important to make sure that you're tracking your activity and what you're doing. Because if you can look back at last week and say, well, you know, maybe sending one invite a day, 
is not enough. Maybe I should be talking about this a little bit more. Um, if you have numbers, you have a, a, you're, you're tracking what you're doing, it's easy for you to adjust your goals and your targets. You know what I mean? So just know that if you're not, if what you're doing right now is not creating the results that you're wanting, it just means you've got to increase your activity. Um, this is partially a numbers game, especially when it comes to success club. So just know that. And the great thing is, if you have to talk to 50 more people this month, even if most of those people tell you no, that's just tons of more seeds that you're planting. So, so just remember that. Sharing, making sure you're sharing both indirectly and directly and making sure you're doing it consistently, you guys. Because we all talk about social media and how um, posting is like, you know, it, it's going to be like your, your advertisement for your, for your business, right? People aren't going to know that they can come to you for help. If you're not talking about it and you're not sharing it. And so just know that sharing indirectly, I feel like is probably the most effective way that you can consistently talk about coaching and not, and not, or not just coaching, but challenge groups also. Um, but it's a way for you to be sharing about it consistently in a way that, um, isn't like spamming people's news feeds. You know what I mean? With Join my challenge group, join my challenge group, join my challenge group, because that's annoying, right? Um, having belief in yourself, 100%. That is probably one of the... build my confidence um, in my business and in myself and in Beachbody, really. Um, so make sure personal development is something that you're doing also consistently. Obviously, I'm sure Vicky tells you guys this all the time, but um, just to reiterate it, because I can tell you this also, the first year of my business, I also did not take personal development very seriously. Um, I was one of those coaches who was getting by without personal development, so I thought that I was immune and didn't need it. Um, but really all that meant was that I was just, I haven't hit my wall yet. Cause I tell you, I'm telling you this right now, if you're not doing personal development, you will hit a wall in your business where you will not be able to move forward unless you start doing that. And I did, I totally did hit that wall. I felt stuck and I realized that personal development was what was going to get me out of that, that, uh, funk that I was in. Um, and um, the, the fortune is in the follow-up. So being consistent with that, um, overcoming your fear and changing your mindset about following up and know that you're, you're not doing this to bug people. You're doing it because you're upholding your end of the bargain that you want to help people and inspire as many people as possible to get healthy. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much all of the points that I was going to cover. Sorry, I kind of like whizzed through them, but hopefully that was helpful to you guys. Oh my gosh, Alexa, you were absolutely amazing. I loved the fact that you said like, it's our responsibility. Like I signed up as a Beachbody coach to help people reach their goals, whether it's financial, health, fitness, whatever it is. And if you don't follow up, you're, you're not holding up your end of the bargain. And mm -hmm. so many times we fear of following up because we don't want to bug them. We don't want to pester them. We feel annoying. And what we don't realize is that we're not being responsible to our commitment to ourselves, to them, to our business. Yep. And you know, like that's totally a mindset game that we, we play on ourselves. It's a doubting game mm -hmm. and yeah, personal development is huge. And even sometimes with personal development, we still have that mindset in the back of our head, that little mean guy. It's, it has to be a guy. It can't be a woman, but it's a guy <laughs> at the back of our head telling us, you know, like, Oh, they don't want to hear from you, but three, four times, you guys, like 23 in the company and she follows up three or four times. And if not, you're just planting a seed. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love that. Yep, exactly. And another thing, like lead with your mission statement. You know, like I always talk about, like we lead with our heart. We lead with going in and wanting to help them reach their goals, having the, having something that you can offer them and knowing like it's not about making success club five you want to help three people that's what it is it's not a point system of success club five it's how many people that you're actually helping so i love that. yep totally totally um i'm gonna open it up for questions but alexa we're kind of beach body coaches so we like to take these things called selfies so uh would you be would we be honored to have a selfie with you Oh, duh. Of course. <laughs> I know you know all about those selfies. <laughs> all right, everyone, you ready? One, two, three. Uh-oh. Damn it.
All right. Okay. So if you guys have a question for Alexa, you could either put it in the chat box or you could unmute yourself if you have a quiet background. Yay. I love questions. Anything. Okay, I have a question because everyone's way too shy. I, I swear. I'm, I'm not gonna I, look, I was trying to find my unmute button. Okay, I don't know. I don't have a question, but I just want to say the vision, the leading with the vision thing. Oh my God. I think I just like had a mind explosion with that because like, like my whole thing, is the two fit to quit thing. That's my thing. But I just realized that the reason why I started with that was because I became at a certain point too fit to quit. Right. That was the whole point. And so now it's like, that's really my whole mission is like helping other people find that in themselves that they don't give up on themselves because they get to a certain point. So I'm like, Oh my gosh, I'm like, I just need to talk to people about that. Like, and it's, you know, and it's not even just fitness, but it's like in financial and, you know, mentally too. And so, Oh my gosh, that was like gold for me. Like, I don't know what it was about it. I was just like, Oh my gosh. What? Like, yeah. So, thank you for that. so happy. I love it. So happy to hear that. Yeah. I, I actually, um, vision was something that I just recently started to really get into and work on. Um, but I, I, so many of these things that I talked about, you guys, this is like a mindset thing, such a mindset shift, like fear and of anything and getting out of your comfort zone and, you know, leading with your vision, like it all starts with your mindset. So, um, you know, make sure, I mean, of course, personal development isn't like you're like going to cure everything, but it is going to help you in, in creating that mindset change. So if you're somebody who's struggling with all these things that I shared, um, start there. Cause I really think that it will make such a huge difference, but yeah, I'm so glad to hear that. It was, it was good and helpful to you. So, yay. Oh, so I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, so my Facebook profile is private. I should probably take it off of private. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so one thing that you should know also about switching your Facebook account from private to public, I feel like a lot of people don't know this, but if you do that, know that all of your posts from before, so say if your, your posts or your, your, your Facebook's been private all the way up till today and tonight you change it to public, every single post that you had up until today is still going to be hidden from the public because you're only sharing it, you only shared it with your friends, right? So don't think that once you switch your Facebook to public, all of your stuff is now on display for everybody to look at. Um, I feel like a lot of coaches think that that's what happens. Like, okay, I'm switching it to public, which means everybody can see everything. But um, just know that moving forward, it just means that the, everything that you post is going to be public. But um, just to touch on that, yes, you should have a public Facebook just because I feel like Facebook is such a powerful tool for your business. And if you're somebody who's serious about growing your business, um, then know that that doing that is what's going to help you help more people. Um, and, and a lot of people are like, I don't want to, I use it for, for my, you know, sharing pictures of my kids or connect with my family or whatever. Um, you know, if that's you and you still want to use Facebook for those things, then change your audience for those pictures of your kids to private or something, or, um, you know, send your family photos or whatever, their email. I don't know, but just know that if you want to make, if you, once again, treating this like a business, and I really believe that having a public Facebook is so important because people are going to be able to connect with you so much more. People go to private Facebooks and they can't see anything. Um, it, it, they're going to be like, eh, I don't know who this person is. Can't see who, what their information is. I don't know who they are. And they're going to be like, well, whatever, let's move on to the next thing. So um, I know it's scary. I know it's scary, but just know that all of your past posts aren't going to be public. So that might help ease your mind. And one thing that I do is just know that Everything that I post, I always am, make sure that I'm okay with a stranger seeing it. You know what I mean? So just make sure you're changing how your posts. If there's things that you don't want strangers to see, then don't post it um, or change the privacy on it. But yeah, sorry. It was like this really long-winded ans answer to your question. That's good though. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Hey, I had a question too. Um, yeah. You were talking about person about personal development and I do a lot of that too. I was wondering if there was any like certain book that kind of really changed things for you um, that you can think of or. Yeah. So, I mean, it really, so one of the things that, that I've learned about personal development is that I feel like you should really find a book or whatever it is on whatever, a book, audio, you know, whatever 
on whatever it is you're struggling with the most in your business or whatever it is that you want to work on the most. So a lot of times we're like, oh, well, everyone talks about compound effect and slight edge, amazing books, of course. But um, think about what you're struggling with and what you need help with. I mean, are you somebody who needs help with time management organization? Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. Are you trying to get better at recruiting? 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, John Maxwell. You know what I mean? Like there's so many different books for different things. Um, so I can't, I can't say that there's one exact book because um, I think it depends on what your goal is right now and what you're struggling with. But if I could pick one personal development book that has made the biggest difference on me, um, it is, it's, a, it's 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership by, by John Maxwell. Um, this book, I'm actually, you guys, this is my third time straight reading it. Like I've read it two times in a row and I'm currently on my third time in a row reading it because it's that freaking good. Um, I have so many, just so many golden nuggets and like my, uh, my eyes have been opened so many times. So if you're someone who's trying to build your team or you're working on recruiting or you're working on attracting business builders in your team or you know, whatever it is, anything that re requires like your coaches or your team, you, you must, must, must get this book. Number one, by far. But just know that I think that it all depends on where you're at, what your goals are, um, and what you're currently struggling with the most. That, that helps. I second that on that book too. I have it on audio in my car and I've listened to it probably like 20 times. So oh my gosh, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's so good. I mean, Man, I, I can't tell you the difference that I've seen in my team since reading this and, and implementing it. Not just reading it, but implementing what he's telling you. Um, that's the biggest thing. But so, yeah, I mean, I, I would say that that's my number one. But like I said, if you're not working on recruiting, if you're like somebody who's brand new as a coach and that's not what you're struggling with, you know, something else might be better. But, but that's probably my favorite. Anything else? Any other questions? My hair is like all over the place, sorry. I love your hair. I love it watching you do size videos. <laughs> I mean, your hair just does it for me. I'm like, I could watch her all day long doing size, damn it. Oh my gosh, thank you. I know, it's a kind of a hot mess. I get so many people, I'm not even kidding you, so many people who come up to me and they're like, are you that girl in the size video? Oh my gosh. I'm like, no, I wish. Any of you guys who've done size know that girl that I'm talking about. She looks like me with her crazy hair. <laughs> not me, not me. I wish. That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah me and Shanti are tight cool. yeah right that'd be awesome all right well if you guys do not have any last questions none all right um we will go ahead and wrap it up I do have one thing to share with you guys and I actually got this from Miss Alexa herself um she so she had coaches struggling with income, right? And especially coming up for the holidays. Uh, we, all, we all have heart to help others. We all have a vision, a mission statement, if you will. And one of the takeaways that, uh, an assignment, if you will, I want you guys to create your mission statement tonight or this week. Really sit down and write down what your mission statement is for you and your business. Um, but besides that, we all have a vision of what we want in our business but there is this thing called income you know we all it, it's a bonus if you will it's a bonus that we get for helping people but some of us need that income we need it for either the holidays we need it for bills we need it for groceries we need it to bring our home, husbands home from work or um to bring ourselves home from work whatever it is that you need that extra income it's a necessity so um, I am borrowing Alexa's fabulous idea of holding a group for, um, it's for earning money for the holidays. And it is going to be a group until now, until the end of December. And every month we're gonna have a set goal. And I'm going to put in the file section like different scripts and things that you guys can use that are going to be um, like, so you don't have to re recreate the will. You know, because I think so many times we get like, oh, I don't know how to do this post or I don't know how to say this and I don't know how to invite. So I'm literally going to lay out everything for you and always create it as your own, please. Never copy and paste because I may say something that you would not say. And if you copy and paste it to someone that knows you, they're going to be like, really? Come on. You know, so there's going to be 
all this information in there for you guys, but you need to be committed to yourself because if I'm going to be committed to you, I want you to be committed to yourself and to the people that you're helping. So this is open for everybody on my downline and all leaders that's diamonds and above. <clears throat> we are going to do a $20 buy-in. So the, we're going to, and I'm going to keep track. This is like in a little incentive. And I know from, all of you who have done the love languages not everyone thrives on incentives but i'm just throwing this out there uh the, it's going to be a point system so every day that you do post every day and you check in you get a point and the top three point earners gets to split the pot so it's going to be an an extra um little holiday cash prize if you will for you your family a trip maybe you want to buy your upline a nice gift i don't know <laughs> But so thank you, Alexa, for letting me borrow that idea. Of course. Of course. So let me know if you guys are interested in that group. Let you know your upline and they'll let me know if I am not your upline. But so that's that. And get on a fall classic team. I want every single one of you to either host one, get on one, be part of one, whatever you do. Fall classic. Guys, I won this GoPro last year from Fall Classic. Full free. Full free. It's right here. Yeah, for reals. I made it my goal to help as many freaking people as I could. And I got a GoPro. Like, what the heck? That's crazy. So I definitely, I and registered yesterday as soon as it opened up. I'm excited. I want that cute hoodie. I know, right? We were on the call with Brittany today and they were uh, showing it and it says coach backwards. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, wait, we do selfies in the mirror. It will, <laughs> everyone could read it. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness yeah That's they, they need to fix it <laughs> all right well thank you guys for hopping on and thank you alexa for speaking tonight we really appreciate it yeah thank you alexa you're so so welcome i hope